Today I'm going to be showing you how to connect and use a USB on your Windows 11 computer. But before we get started, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. It really does help us out. So to do this first, you're obviously going to need a USB. Next, you're going to need to identify the USB port on your computer. This should either be on the front next to the power button or on the back of your computer tower. In my case, you can see my USB ports right here next to my power button. Once you've located your USB port, simply plug your USB into your computer. Once you've done this on your computer, you will get a notification in the bottom right. Click on this and it's gonna give you some options. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click open folder to view files. This will open up your USB in your computer. Now, anything that goes into this file will be saved onto your USB. So for example, let's take our test document and just drag it and drop it into our USB. You can also find your USB by going to File Explorer, scrolling down to the bottom and going to the USB drive. Now your USB can have its own folders. You can save videos, pictures, documents, whatever you want. To find out how much storage space your USB has, go to your USB and right click it. And then you're gonna to navigate to properties. Once you pull up your properties, you're able to do a couple things. For example, name your USB. So I could go Liam's USB. It'll tell you the kind of USB it is, how much free space you have, how much space you've used, and some other metrics. Another helpful feature is if you go to the end here to customize, you can optimize your USB for whatever type of file you're using. So you can see general items, documents, pictures, music, or videos. If you're using a mix of these, I recommend using your general items optimization, but if you're just using pictures or just using videos or one of these other options, this can be a very helpful little feature. So once you've done what you need to do here, you just simply click apply and then okay. And this will save, as you can see, it's renamed it to Liam's USB. Once you're ready to eject your USB, you're gonna want to right click and press eject. It's important you do this. If you just pull it out of your computer, you can have errors with your USB that can corrupt the information or data saved on your USB. Once you've ejected your USB though, it's safe to pull out and now you can go and plug this into any other computer you'd like. So that's how you use a USB on Windows 11. Hopefully this video helped. If it did, leave a like. And if you have a question, leave a comment below. We'll make sure to get to you. Until next time, thank you so much for watching.